Computer programmers create, modify, and test the forms, scripts, and code that tell computers what to do. If you have an interest in computers, can solve problems creatively, and think analytically, you may be interested in a career as a computer programmer. You would design and develop software and participate in projects to meet the specific needs of clients. To help us get with the program, we interviewed a computer programmer all about their job. My name's Steven, and I'm a computer programmer. Computer programmers build, code, design, analyze solutions for software products that serve a need for business industry or other applications. So a typical day for me starts at around 8 o'clock. You have a list of tasks to do, and those will usually have a design already associated. And then you look at them, and you work through it. Some tasks take just hours to do, some tasks take weeks to do, and some things you work independently, some things you work in a team, and you usually report to a technical lead and a project manager and keep them up to date on things. So the types of tasks, they range depending on the project. So you might be coding in C-sharp, you might be doing web-based applications, you might be doing client-server, you might be doing database programming. The code that you're writing, the solution you're providing, needs to make sure that it has good performance, will meet the needs of the client. Making sure your, your items are of quality are really important. Software programmers have a lot of flexibility in location in terms of I can work from home if I'd like to, I can be working at a client side, I'm usually working in the office. In this industry, deadlines are really important and you'll find that some evenings you end up having to work or some weekends depending on how things are going. I use a computer or a laptop and my smartphone is one of the most valuable things that I have. We're looking for someone who's smart uh, able to take complicated problems and think them through, break them down into, into bite-sized pieces. They have to like to be creative, to be challenged. Uh, they also have to be able to work in teams with others and really like uh, a lot of variety in what they do. It's great to have an analytical mind and be well-disciplined, to have a strong work ethic. Formal education gives you a really good framework in um, how to think well in terms of problem solving. The big thing is you need to learn how to speak technical language. There's kind of two streams that you go. You either start um, supervising people and you work towards management, or you can become really specialized in your technical expertise and become a specialized engineer technician. When you have a big challenge ahead of you where there's a problem that needs to be solved and in this industry often there's problems that have never been solved before so you get the problem and you have to think about and strategize and work together in a team because one person usually can't figure it out on his own you work together and come up with a solution and once you work hard build that solution then you deliver it it feels awesome i would say this is a great industry for people who love learning, who like challenges, who want new experiences. I love that my job gives me the opportunity to solve problems that matter. I love working with other professionals in the field and growing and being challenged all the time. And I continue to look forward to being challenged in the future. Computer programmers usually require two to four years of post-secondary education in computer science or related discipline that has a programming component. They must also continuously upgrade their knowledge in this rapidly changing field. Discover more about this occupation, such as educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the ALICE website, and learn about related occupations, like web designer and computer network administrator. Make the most of your future. Go to alice.alberta.ca.